That was impressive. I, <laughs> I did not expect it to be able to do that. And we're back, everyone. Let's do our downtown Hendersonville test now. We're gonna start it in the parking lot as soon as it lets us. So something to look forward to is right here at the exit. As that the pre, every previous version would over accelerate and it actually lose traction getting out of here because it thinks it has to speed up really fast on this road, which it doesn't really need to. It's kind of a somewhat blind blind corner down the road, so you can't really see traffic coming and use they come up pretty fast. But it, it was way over accelerating, and and when there was no traffic, so it's not like there's a car coming up on you and you need to accelerate. So I used the weight here. See right there, lost traction. Now it's over accelerating. Exactly the same behavior. This is unchanged between 12 that four that three, unchanged. So that needs improvement. You can still, I think you can see now with the sun. You can see my window is pretty dirty, and I still didn't get it clean clean enough. So I'll go ahead and clean it again in this afternoon, maybe. What it hasn't been doing. Let's see if it does it now. Okay, and could be better. I need to angle more right here because, let's see if I can bring up the camera to show you. There's hardly enough space right here for someone to get past me to make a right turn right here. My car has plenty of space right here on to my left to make that, uh, to get over more. This is better than uh, the last time I did this last weekend on 12.4.3. It wasn't that great. It still wants to go 11 over, 12 over. Like it's good. it's a 35 speed limit right up here. It's a little bit frustrating that it immediately goes 10 over instead of you know maybe five over until it gets closer to the 35. And now that it hit the 35, it's just gonna stay at 35, which is fine. My preference is 40 on this road, but like this this speed is fine. The going the 35 and the 25 is not fine. See what it does with this blinking yellow. We have a car behind me. Okay, I'm having to. I have to press the accelerator. That's an intervention. Let's go ahead and press that. I don't know how they're going to fix it, but they have to fix blinking yellows because clearly you saw it showed red there. It's something to do with how the cameras see color, which is interesting because I thought it used photons or something. I guess the way these sensors work. Hopefully, that's not a limitation of the camera. Certainly they can fix that, and they really need to. So unfortunately I have to do an intervention. Previous drives I've gotten through here, there was not a car behind me, so I could just let it do that and get no in intervention for testing purposes. But the previous version would also do that. It would um, slow down at that blinking yellow right there. And it didn't need to. Let's see what it does at this light, or light, <laughs> yeah, Dri uh, driving circle. Okay, humans. Not knowing how to use a traffic circle. Wow, someone actually used the blink. Like, come on, people. Once you're in the traffic circle, you have the right of way. Okay. I don't know what this car's doing. There must it must be out of town or not a local or something because I haven't seen they know where they're going. Or maybe they're just old. <laughs> Could be. There are a lot of old folk, retirees, in this this part of town. Let's see if it's gonna mess this turn up. So this turn traditionally has been tricky. The last version's done it very well. One time, it actually got in the turn lane right here for Publix, which is too early. This version seems to be reading map data better. So let's find out. See where that car's turning? That's where I have to get in the lane. Did it just do a full YouTube? Okay. Perfect. Even better. A uh, previous version would actually hesitate right there. Are you gonna go for it if you're gonna go? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think that's the best that's ever done that. Yeah, it's definitely the best that's ever done that. So that's great. 
because um okay dude you could there's a sidewalk on the right side of the road <laughs> I hate people that do that I just think they like, like just like cars can run you over dude there's a sidewalk right there you should use the sidewalk I guess we had what one intervention from a pure intervention standpoint um, not the best drive ever because I've done this drought with zero intervention before I think overall it's a better it's better so far it's just the blinking yellows I don't know why no I'm gonna jinx it aren't I why is it slowing down so much because of the car here come on it's like a grandma driver now don't be a Florida driver. Whatever you do, please don't be a Florida driver. No offense, Chuck. But just Florida drivers that have vacation homes up here are the worst drivers. And they're just so slow and around curves and everything. They can't drive in the mountains. Okay, let's see. So it actually just recently uh, started allowing it to drive into the parking lot. And let's see if I can get it to find a parking spot. Uh, no. no, this guy wasn't in the middle of the freaking parking lot. Okay. Okay. put it in the reverse um, and then when I disengaged I was still in reverse um, yeah so okay it for some reason decides it wants to um, wants to uh, back into spots always instead of pulling in and I not exactly sure why I think this is actually safer to pull in the spot because the wide angle lens can actually see cross traffic but if you if you back in the wide angle lens up here cannot see cross traffic. So I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but anyways, um, this is part of this video and we'll go down Main Street and that will be the end of this one. So I'm gonna engage it in the parking lot here. However, not gonna count disengagements because it's not ready for parking lot yet. Also, there's a pop, actually no, I'm not gonna engage it because of this pop hole right here. I want to. It would run right over that pothole, and I'm going to avoid it. Oh, you can engage it here. And it should not go because there's a truck coming. How did it... How did it know? Was it really looking through the car's wind? Okay. Interesting. That was impressive. I... <laughs> I did not expect it to be able to do that. Okay. That's... Really quite impressive. Did well in that corner, avoiding the little pothole there. That, yeah, that truck, uh, I hope I can repeat that again in future videos, because that, that was actually, that really surprised me. Let's see if it's gonna actually. No, no. It, it, it was put on the right blinker because it, it, because of the nav point. It just needs to go straight through the intersection. It slowed for this crosswalk because it's kind of like a speed bump. Interesting. There was actually a there was a human pilot on oh, the other weekend. I was coming down here that ran the red light. These red lights are kind of hard to see sometimes, or like, they're not because they're off to the side. They're not above in front of you like you would normally be expect. And they ran right through it. Fortunately, there was no pedestrians or no other cars coming the other way, but they just went straight through it. They didn't pay attention.
No way! They finally updated it. So that is the first time I've ever been able to make it go into that parking lot right there. So they, um, the next update, the 32 branch that we're supposed to get is supposed to enhance navigation. And I think the, this update also has some slight precise navigation enhancements. And this has definitely proven that because I've never been able to do, to do that before. Now it's still messed up if you saw in the fast forward part that it still wanted to go down uh, here. This is a one way, you can't pull into this. You can only pull into this parking lot from right here. You can't even do this. So that, I think that's wrong. Um, it, it used to be true, but I think now it's blocked off or something. But this is really the only way you can get in and out of that parking lot. And it would always do, it just would never route there. No matter how many times I tried, it just would never route there. Okay, I don't know why, it, why it's completing, like, or, so that's a weird issue. So we're not counting that intervention because it's just because of the nav point. But we do have to remove this stop now. Oh, see, it messed up again. Oh, that's unfortunate, guys. Um, I guess maybe it will take a um, get into the left lane, and then I'll just have to still manually turn into the parking lot because it's not it's not going to do it. Okay, that's the disengagement. Because that sign, state law, it's a law you have to stop. So unfortunately, disengagement. So this is not the best it's ever been, guys, because of that. It has stopped in the past. So that's that's something it needs to be able to do. I don't know how it's going to read signs. It, it can't just read signs based on context. It actually has to know what the sign means. And so this is good behavior. It, it needs to move up closer. Because it, this light doesn't change very long. And then it, it doesn't allow a lot of people to get through. Which is why traffic backs up right here. And I should be at least another couple feet forward. Okay. So we're going to have to turn in here. It doesn't give me any type of, um, I don't know if I did this. Okay, and we're also gonna try this. It needs to pull in straight. Interesting, it puts in a... No, it's not. I was pressing the brake. I'm definitely, you have the video proof. I was pressing the brake. I was not pressing the accelerator. Interesting, okay. But what we're doing, so it needs to pull in. Uh, there, there's a sign, of course it's blocked by the tree, but there's a sign off to my left over there. It says, you can only pull in straight. So let's see if it'll pull in. Pressing the brake. Okay. So yeah, yeah, this is a um, something that does not work for auto park. It has to pull in here. It is unfortunately no longer legal to back in these spots unless you want to take it. Um, so well, I, that's not going to count. It doesn't do parking lots yet until they officially say it does parking lots. We're not counting those. However, we are counting the one where it didn't wait for the pedestrian crossing for that sign. Um, that needs to happen. Um, so yeah, just well, tell me what you think. Um, it's unfortunate that um, I didn't stop there, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely some improvements on this version. Like it's, it's like this is still substantially better than twelve that green at six, which most of you are have right now. And this is it's it's just such a leap forward, especially the hands free. Not uh, having to touch the steering wheel the whole time. Massive leap forward, and I really can't wait for you guys to get it. If you have any questions for me, put it down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.